when you know what you know, you just will not accept a lot of things anymore. You do things different. Um, this is a video response back to you, um, Tyrell01. Um, I'm just going to make this a real talk video. And it's only a few people, especially in my race, that's going to really feel what I'm saying because I hate to say this, big brother, but it's so sad how many people reject things that you say, things that you do, before they even get an understanding about it. Um, you talking about America. Man, when you know what you know, that's why I got to use this title. You were talking about the Star Spangled Banner. You were talking about CNN News. You're talking about the media. You're talking about um, Donald Trump. Um, it's so important to understand this. We never was fit hmm, for this world. It never was designed for us to be fit for this world. We were supposed to be set apart from what you see. Now, most of us won't study, we won't read, but we quick to reject something that somebody else tells us. Okay, I'll give you an example. When I started last, well, that was probably about five or six years ago, when I was telling people about this old standing up, you know, holding your hand over your heart for America. Man, so many in my race, Man, what, what, why you ain't standing up? This, that. Now, all of a sudden, it's all out in the open. Now, people people really just, oh, man, I never I never read that. I never studied that. And I ain't just talking about the Star Spangled Banner. America founded on godly principles, which God. God bless America, which God. See, most people don't understand that the book of John called Satan the God of this world. So I'm just going to have a real talk video right here. So when you are a, a God of something, that means it's going to operate your way. I didn't say Yahweh because there is no higher God than the most high. That's why there are two different systems like my big brother P.P. John has been preaching about. I don't know how long now on here. But when you understand which system you operate in, one you're going to operate in and one you're going to really be set apart from. So for me in my house, it's set apart from the satanic world. That's why when I talk about pagan heathens, stuff that um, the pagans did, when I start talking about holidays, when I start letting people know information about where things come from, Halloween, they get offended. But they wouldn't dare study. Well, my, you know, I was brought up. Do you even know what you was brought up in? So when you know what you know, you can't help but to change. Sad thing is, so many of us don't want to know nothing, my brother. Don't even want to know. I don't want to hear that, man. I reject knowledge. He wonder why the Most High said, my people will perish for the lack of what? Knowledge. Man, you understand when you have knowledge and knowledge and wisdom goes together. I ain't talking about this little worldly wisdom they like to call you when you wise. I'm talking about wisdom from the most high. Man, your life is, you, you live your life totally different when you know what you know. People going to look at you funny. They're going to call you crazy. They're going to call you a sellout. They're going to say, what you doing there for? Well, man, he ain't like us. She ain't like us. It's okay not to fit in. Fit out. Fit out. Because fitting in is what's going to lead most people to that gate of destruction. Because there's a whole bunch of people fitting in. Even the church now looks so much like Hollywood. They got to have a competition for everything. They got to they gotta do this. They got to do that. They they mix in so much, you can't even tell who the difference is. Hey, yeah, I, I know I'm making some folks mad, but just let, let, let the truth be told, y'all. Y'all know I don't bite my tongue. I'm not I'm not scared of who looking at this video, who can hear me. I hope it go worldwide, nationwide, whatever you want to call it, because somebody got to tell the truth. Here it is, January now, going on February. Black people still talking about Black Lives Matter. We need to march. We got to get a black. We got to get another black president in office. We need another black leader. Man, the hell with all that black, 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 black power. Man, do you have the Holy Ghost power? 
How many more years you need to march? How many, how many, how many more cries do you need? How many times is it going to take for you to understand who runs this world? Do you understand demons that's all over? Stop trying to get equal with people you never supposed to got equal with. Stop trying to get equal with demons. Uh-oh. Let me take it there. Stop trying to get equal with fallen angels. See, I'm, now I'm talking crazy, but somebody know what I'm talking about. When you understand everybody on this planet that you see is not human, you'll feel what I'm saying in this video. I, I'm going to say it again. Everybody is not human. I might need to scream it a little louder. Everybody is not human human when you catch that you'll really stop marching you won't call Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson no more you won't you won't keep talking about black leader this black that because you're going to understand that it's up to you to change you and it's up to you to understand the powers of the Holy Spirit and it's up to you to go against what you see but instead of going against everybody want to play a part well, you know, the next month, bro, this Black History Month. We but man, we hey man, we need man, what you looking for? The hell with Black History Month. When I did that video about the NAACP, made a lot of people mad. When I did that video about civil rights, man, black people, black people, black people. I ain't black in the first place. I don't even I don't even I don't even use that term on myself. When somebody called me a black man. Stop accepting what they gave you and learn who you are and what you are, who you serve. If you are made in the image of the who? The most high. You don't only look like the most high, then you're supposed to act like the most high. But you acting like the world. See this video gonna go over a lot of people's head. They gonna oh, that's a that's an Uncle Tom. That, that's a hated her. That dude there, man, he nah, this dude speaking what you need to hear. Versus what you want to hear. And if you don't wake up, it's too late for you. It's already too late for so many other people. Because Satan has blinded the minds of the unbelievers in this world. Satan's kingdom is very, well, is very well put in order, my brothers and sisters. Do you see that? So many Christians, they just, they running like chickens with their head cut off. I don't know what to do. Uh, I mean, I, my faith. I... Where are the powerful people at? That's operating in the Holy Spirit. You don't see too many. All you see now is this prosperity gospel. When you know what you know, you can't accept all this stuff that you used to accept all your life growing up. There is no way I can accept what I was brought up in. I had to go against everything I was brought up in because once I learned the truth, I almost made me want to go back and burn up every Baptist church I went to. Now I mean it out of love. I, you know I ain't gonna burn up nothing. But I'm just saying it's just made. That's the that's the mindset I had. Why was we lied to so much? Why was we sitting up here falling for this mess? All this prosperity mess that they talking about, and, and your soul. You ain't even talking about your soul prospering. All these get rich, these get rich screen uh, schemes. Excuse me. When you know what you know, you better live different. When you know the most high system, you go against everything that you see that 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 goes against the most high system. But there's so many people, well, I don't know, I don't want nobody to look at me like that in this sense. If I man, if I go against this, my family ain't, ain't gonna understand me. Most people I know put their family higher than the most high. So what? I'ma tell you something. When you stand for the most high, don't expect your friend list to be long. Don't expect people to be on your side like you think they're going to be. And I'm going to give you a newsflash. Most of it going to come from your family and church folks. The ones who claim they love you the most. Think about this. How, how, it's hard for Satan, the enemy, the, the demons to get at you with somebody you really don't know. That's why it takes your closest loved ones, your wife, your husband, your children, your cousin. Your daddy, your mama, your favorite uncle, your best friend. It takes those close ones. That's what he that's when he does his best work. And then I'm gonna let you in on, on another news flash. Some of that stuff don't have nothing to do with the devil. It's people 
doing what they want to do, operating in flesh. That's why we better be walking by faith and not by sight. If you're looking, you better be looking with your spiritual eye. Most people don't have that spiritual eye, man. They can't see. They too busy talking about Donald Trump. Do you think I care less? I, I mean, let me say it like this. The Bible teaches us to pray for our leaders, but he ain't my leader. And then the Bible teaches you you obey the laws of the land until they go against Yah's word. That's why I made a lot of people mad when I when I said your vote don't count because it don't. If you understand this wicked satanic world, if you understand who the real these 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 fake Jews are, who the demons are, who the media you know, it's always talking about this and talking about that. When you understand that, you'll feel what I'm saying. And you understand that your vote never did matter. That's why I was always crooked. Because I did a video called The Presidents Was Not Voted In by Your Vote. They was in there by the bloodline. That's why all of them was kin to each other. See, we, we sit up here crying out and, and, and talking about, man, when you, let me tell you again, when you know what you know what you know. Oh, man. <laughs> when you know who owns the NAACP, when you understand what civil rights was all about, really, when you understand what really happened to Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, when you know what you know what you know, and you then you look at all these years later, still in the same boat. Crying out. Ain't nothing changing but the name. Same old thing, but it's just the name changing. Well, it's Black Lives Matter now. All lives matter to me. See, the enemy know how to use the color of a skin so good that most of us, we can't even wake up and see. And most of us can't even stand us. While we crying out, talking about, we, 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 you know, it was such and such, Black History coming up, Black History Month. Don't you know all this stuff was given to you by design? Do you think I really care for a Black History Month? You can miss me with that. Do you think I care about dressing up in some old clothes? And I'm not saying that to knock our ancestors and what people did, but if our ancestors, if our ancestors would have knew a whole lot of stuff, they would have done. If they would have knew the truth, they would have done things different. I really believe that. But we, excuse me, but when you don't know the truth, and I mean that with no disrespect to none of my elders, but they was marching then, and they still, they st we still marching now, but not me. That's why you can't get me to go protest. You can't get me to go march because I got, I'm got. i smart enough to know if it's not today or tomorrow, next week, another brother going to get gunned down by another cop. Another brother going to shoot another brother. See, nobody want to talk about that, though. Some people talking about when, when, a, when a white cop, a racist cop, kill a black man, but we kill each other on a daily basis behind dope. Behind rims, behind weed, behind that's my girl, behind stupid stuff. See, we won't even woke, wake up when when you know what you know. How many times have you said in this video? You live different, you act different, you eat different, you move around different, you let them people go, you stop going over there, you quit hanging with old boy and them, you leave old girl alone, you quit messing with that messed up preacher, boy. Y'all just got to excuse me. I'm on fire in this video, man. I, I had to do this like this while before I get out this truck. It just, it hit me while I'm just going to let the camera roll live, man, because when you know what you know, but how you going to do different when you don't know? How can your actions change if your heart don't change? That's why when you change, it's hard that two people can understand it. And they think that your change was for them, but your change was for yourself. That's why they go against you. They start talking behind your back. They start getting mad at you, man. He once upon a time was hanging with us. Now she act like she all this and all that. When you come into the truth, man, it's powerful. And you will feel like you are all by yourself. How do I know? Because I live that. I live it. My contact and... My contact list in my phone is very short. And I mean very short. It's not too many people I can call. It's not too many people that can call me. 
And if you can call me and I can call you, you real. If you can send me a text message and I send you back a text message, you real. Because I don't fool with too many people. I've learned what set apart really mean. So I, I quit being like most of the people I know. Instead of being set apart, they wanted to play a part. But when you know what you know, you stay set apart. And you don't care who get mad at it. You don't care who don't like it. Because you doing what's best for you and your family. So y'all, with that being said, when you know what you know, you do things different. I love you. And to the ones that's mad, I love you. And to the haters that's going to leave them comments, please hate. Please leave your hating comments because it ain't going to do nothing but elevate me. I pray that you leave your hating comments like you always do when I do videos like this. And if you don't have nobody else to hate on, come on back to this page and hate much as you can. Hit the dislike button much as you can. But y'all know I'm telling the truth. So let's wake up and come out this foolishness. Y'all have a wonderful, 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 blessed day.